Hello everyone, today is Wednesday, October 26, 2022 at 5.06 a.m. in the morning. I'm still sleepy and tired, but can't go back to sleep. It's, I guess, 59 degrees at the moment. And, um... I just have this hoodie and this so-called 20-degree sleeping bag. The sleeping bag, uh, excuse me. (sighs) Yeah, this 20-degree Coleman sleeping bag from fake Walmart. And it says that it's like a 20-degree oversized sleeping bag. And it says that it fits people six up to six feet five inches tall. Well, if you six five and you and you use this, well then I feel sorry for you. Cause um it fits at just about my height and I'm a midget. I'm only five two. <clears throat> so um at 59 degrees, with the 20 degree sleeping bag, I still feel like I'm cold and my bones are cold. And um, they say that in a couple of hours it's supposed to get down to 55. So I'm cold and my bones are cold. And um. I mean, it's like I had, like, I used to have a um, 30 degree sleeping bag, but it was a different brand. I can't remember the brand at the moment, but they come come from the academy and they used to be like $20. And last I checked, they raised the prices to like $25. So it's been a while since I've been to the academy. But those were 30 degree sleeping bags that kept me warmer than this. And it was less, it wasn't as big and it was less bulky. But I think it's, um, I don't know the fabric of the, um, sleeping bag, but, um, but this is cotton on the inside. I mean, well, it's cotton is made of cotton, you know. But the other one, I, I'm not sure of the um fabric, but but I mean, this sleeping bag. I mean, I have difficult time trying to get warm. So this was supposed to keep me warm better, but it doesn't. Like, I shouldn't feel like I'm freezing right now. But that's part of the reason why I can't go back to sleep. But I have a job interview this morning. And, um, if I feel like this this way, I mean, this time, then when I, I don't know if I can go take a shower today. I mean, later on. I, um, (coughs) excuse me. (coughs) I might have to go back and get my, um, I might have to go back and get my bigger coat. So it looks like they finally debited out the other money from the um one of the hotel nights last week. The money disappeared. It was credited back to my account. <sighs> 
excuse me, it disappeared and was credited back to my account like as if I was never charged. And then this morning they finally successfully debited they debited it out of my account. So I guess I did the wise thing to not try to spend it. You know, I just wanted to make sure um you know everything was squared away. I did call the bank and they were telling me oh there was basically they didn't even see the transaction cuz I didn't see it on my end either. So now they finally come and swoop in and debit it. Like they debited it out of my account at first and then they made it look invisible. And then they finally, I mean, they made it look invisible and then credited me. And so now they finally swooped in and debited it out of my account again. And I was wondering, well, well, that's weird. But I didn't know if the hotel was reimbursing me from the incident that happened. I didn't know what was going on. So, um, so that got debited out of my account this morning or yesterday. Well, yesterday, later on, I checked my account. I didn't see it there. So, um, later on yesterday, I guess, because it's now the 26th. Yesterday was the 25th. So, um, Wow. <clears throat> so, um, I guess I'm probably going to be in the works between this week and next week to get a new pair of shoes because someone had donated me. I'm not going to say who it is or how much it is, but somebody, because of the online perps is the reason why, you know, but somebody had donated me something and said, you know, that, you know, suggested that I use it for for some new shoes. So I'm going to set that aside and buy some shoes with it, you, you know. And so um, I got a little more help from two different people this morning, you know. So, um, so it's like, wow, I am so cold, I can't even think. So, I mean, yeah, I got some more help this morning. So, I'm still sleep deprived and can't think properly and stuff like that. So, if words don't come out right, then I apologize. Oh, it's cold. And it's windy, too. <clears throat> it's so windy that when I woke up, they had a whole bunch of debris. Well, not a whole bunch, but, you know, they had some debris near me. So it's been windy, cold and windy. I hate that about the fall season. That is a mixture of spring, summer, and winter. And it's kind of like schizophrenic, you know. So um, I hate that they have rain and then a cold front comes. And I really believe this is a cold front. And tomorrow morning it's supposed to be colder. But last night I was so hot and stuffy that I almost wanted to take this hoodie off. And I couldn't really sleep because I felt like I was hot and stuffy. So they said it was like 73 degrees, and I felt hot and stuffy. But the night before that, it was like 70 degrees, and I felt fine. I'm like, this is weird, because yesterday afternoon, it was 78 degrees, and I felt like I was freezing cold. So, um... (laughs) I've been bothered by the the so-called targeted individual on Twitter. And she's a black female like me. And, um, I, well, she never wanted to follow me for whatever reason on Twitter, but, um, 
she talked that lingo like a saved Christian, but she was one of those supposed targets that ignore, single me out and ignore me like I don't exist, but talk to everybody else. But I never offended her. I never, I never really disrespected or offended her, or or she's like she don't like me for no reason. So I tagged her and a few other targets in my um in my in one of my tweets and showed proof of my targeting. She ignored me, but she responded to one of the people. Like as if I deserved to be punished, you know. She responded to one of the people um, who had responded to one of my tweets. I mean, I tagged, like, a few of them, a few people. So when she ignored me and skipped over to talk to the person who responded to me, and she responded to that person who responded to me, I'm like, I see you, bitch. You know, so I just blocked her, and I'm like, "Well, you ain't got to worry about me no more." Like, I know you, I know you saw me talk, you know, trying to talk to you, and I've tried like ever since this Twitter account. It's not new anymore, but I had it about a year and a half, and so um, So it's like I tried to follow her a couple of times, but realized she wasn't trying to follow back. But now I get my co- final confirmation that she's deliberately ignoring me. And they have a lot of professed targets that do that. Or some of them, they'll be in my mentions on Twitter. But they, but I try to follow them and they won't follow back, but they keep tweeting, you know. But, I mean, it's funny because she ignored my tweet or she got something against me professed to be a Christian and believe in Jesus, but I'm a fellow Christian target. I never did her anything, but, um, but she, she wanted to try to make, show people and make, make them believe that she's targeted too. It's like, and she was showing different people the same pictures and trying to convince them. But you don't want to believe I'm targeted. You want to ignore me. You don't like me. Whatever, you know. But that's how they, they got some professed targets on YouTube and Twitter. They um ignore me. And maybe somebody must have told them false rumors about me. The popular fakes probably told them false rumors about me. You know, but you want you crying out for help, too. And want somebody to listen to and believe that you're real. And you, and you, you know, you want people to, um, you know, you want people to, um, listen to you and believe you and take you seriously. But you won't do the same I mean, that's why I say certain professed targeted individuals, even the ones that say that they're Christian, they act like they think they're better than other people in the same situation, in the same situation, in the same boat. And some people be trying to say, well, targeted individuals, we need to stick together and this and that, whatever. You know, but it's like, this is the game that they play. TIs, we TIs need to stick together. But then they'll ignore and block me and tell me, you're not one of us. You're not you're not a TI. You're not a real TI. You're not chosen. Or, oh, I can see you're targeted, but that doesn't mean that all of us, I mean, that doesn't mean that you're chosen. Oh, one headlight, they'll try to gaslight and discredit you by trying to say, oh, one headlight don't mean nothing. And TIs that argue amongst each other, some want to perp you for revenge, and they'll be like, oh, there's more to targeting than just one headlight. Or, oh, they think that one headlight is the only thing about targeting. Well, I I tell you and show y'all about the um workplace mobbing and um 
being wrongfully banned from everywhere, people picking fights with me and bullying me or treating me mean or doing me whatever strengths, X, Y, Z thing. And, um, you know, I've shown, like, this one video when I was in Gulf Breeze and at Publix, and they had the guy, a black guy, bold enough to walk up to me and take a picture or a video of me in front of my face and then tell me nothing and then go on, go on like as if everything is normal. And I got video footage of that. It was back in December of last year, almost a year ago. So, um, yeah, I got footage of many different tactics, not just the one headlight or strange headlights or the arm hanging out the window, but these bastards be mainly in their car or noise harassment, noise campaign. I mean, um, but it's hard because sometimes they'll raise their phone and do a quick snap of a picture of you. But, um, like it's hard to try to get them on camera to try to show them trying to take pictures or video of me. And, and, and they be bold with it. And then they go on like it's normal, you know, and go on about their business. Like as if they did nothing wrong. And so, um, I've showed video footage of them cheating me out my food and doing weird stuff to my food and stuff like that, you know, or if they kick me out and ban me or harass me for no reason, you know, different things. Y'all already know I don't have any family support. F friends, yeah, they compromise the friends. Or, um, yeah. So, um, and they had this other person who I mentioned her before. She had, was nice, normal, and supportive. And she was from New Orleans like me. And she would just randomly donate $50 or $100 here and there. And I really think my twin sister got to him a while back, you know. And that's why people, that's a lot of the reasons why a lot of people they don't want to speak to me. And come on, man. Wow, this is going to make me forget what I what I needed to say. But go ahead and do your freaking job. So, um... Come on, man. So I came across the video of um my twin sister. You can tell in the thumbnail, she looked like she's trying to be bold. And she tried to lie and say, well, oh, it's Candy Grand Prix, the gang stalker. But then another video she did trying to say that Candy Grand Prix, I mean, that gang stalking is not real. That Candy Grand Prix is a a mentally ill beast on a loose. And then she tried to say in that video, she said gang stalking is not real. But she turned all the way, all, all away, all my support, like from the targeted individual community and the narcissistic victim support group and try to manipulate people to believe falsely believing that it's me who's the narcissist and the gang stalker but then she tried to say that I'm mentally ill and crazy and that gang stalking is not real and y'all still believe her and you know but it seemed like she left me alone eventually you know but so it's like that's one of the like yeah that's one of the first search results that come up when I hash Google, I mean, when I YouTube search the hashtag gang stalker, that, that's one of the first top 10 that come up. And they're like, this is why professed targets, they got me blocked. And they don't, it's like, they don't even question or investigate, you know? So, um, 
And then the popular fakes or fake T.I. perps, they'll falsely make it like I'm the one who's gang stalking and targeting her. And that's what she also manipulated and convinced people to believe, falsely believe. So they just had somebody try to tell, make a comment on my YouTube channel, told me that um, you, you're a pure soul that's just been damaged. I can tell you're a pure soul that's just been damaged and destroyed. But then you are acting like a narcissistic abuser by telling me let all the past or whatever, let it go and focus on the future and this and that, whatever. I'm like, you fake. You recognize my pure soul, but then... You want to tell me and let go of the past, whatever is in my past, let it go. Well, I can't let go what's still affecting me. And people still hate me and don't like me from the past. Nobody's telling them let it go and forgive me. There you go with your noise harassment, because you, you don't take that freaking long to back up, does it? You just want to make noise, because you know I'm doing a video. My hips hurt. It seemed like the guy, the, um dumpster guide hasn't come in a while like in a few days <clears throat> so yeah I seem like my twin sister mostly well she quit doing videos about me but I still have been seeing her you know on other people's videos about me if she'll make comments against me and stuff you know I started to get scared and worried and wonder what happened to her, but it looked like she's still all right. But, um, it's like, you know, I'm tired of people painting a false picture that I'm sick and schizophrenic. Um, And they even have perps. It's like people, when I do the shorts videos and it reaches more people, I get, they take the opportunity to give more harassing comments and call me a perp. I mean, they, I'm sorry, they, they call me paranoid and schizophrenic and crazy. Or, you know, they even call me psycho and stuff, <clears throat> you know. <clears throat> or oh, they said, well, it looks like you're the stalker and stuff, you know. So I get so much hate. But I have to hear narcissistic lectures about being mean and hateful when I just try to defend myself and fight back. And, you know, people have more love for Darrell Brooks or Daryl or Darrell Brooks, the guy who, um, with the Rock Waukesha Christmas Parade. I just... I mean, if the world got more mercy mercy and forgiveness on him, a mass murderer. And I see the they gave him chances too many times. If he's been a multiple criminal for years, but they keep letting him you know, they they still got sympathy for him and keep letting him run off. It's like, well, he it's, it seems like the hate, he doesn't get as much hate as I do. You know, they got people wanting to make GoFundMe for him and saying justice for Darrell Brooks and, or, you know, free Darrell Brooks. And they got people talking about free R. Kelly and R. Kelly is innocent, they'll say. And it's like, I'm getting more hate than them. And then I've been falsely accused of being compared to R. Kelly. 
I'm a female, and this is what y'all say to me. That y'all will comp falsely compare me to R. Kelly. Sicko R. Kelly. Like, but then, it's like y'all got hope for Darrell Brooks. Y'all got hope and sympathy for him. If he would have walked free, or if he would have been let out of jail, y'all would trust him again and let him drive cars. But, you know, I had never murdered anybody in a car, even unintentionally. I never hit anybody with a, a car, you know. But y'all want to paint this false picture of that I'm dangerous behind the wheel. And people have been saying that before I even started driving. You know, that you don't have the mentality, business, or sense to drive. And that comes from that fake foster mom. Or they would try to say you're not to be trusted with a gun. You're crazy. <clears throat> so, um, but why do people trust me with a knife and a bike, but nobody would trust me with a gun or a car? I mean, I live with knives for all my life. You know. <clears throat> but. <clears throat> but, I mean, I don't know. It's. But, I mean, it's like people in society, they got more love and respect for Darrell Brooks, the Washington, the walking shark parade guy that, you know, they got more respect for him. And they'll give him, people like him, multiple chances. But why am I, why is Candy Grand Prix targeted and hated? And I'm even targeted, I mean, I'm even targeted and hated and singled out you know, by my own kind. I mean, in the TI community, it's, I was trying to say yesterday, it's toxic because they treat each other like workplace mobbing or community mobbing. The same thing that we all supposed to band together and fight against. But I find it odd if you talk about the Lord and you talk about God and you claim to be Christian and you make it like you're speaking against witches and warlocks. But then, you know, um, yeah, you single me out and ignore me and hate me for no reason. And you never once saw me promote or glorify witchcraft or new age and stuff on my channel or my blogs or anything else. If anything, I speak against it or try to illustrate or warn against it. So, um... Yeah, I was trying to say the other person, she used to donate and be supportive and call me her hometown sister. And she decided to start militantly ignoring me and quit talking to me. Well, she used to voluntarily donate like 50 or $100 or just randomly whenever. And then when I told her about how they were trying to get me locked up and call Adult Protective Services, that's when she just... That was her last donation, and I never asked her for anything, you know, but thank you. But that was her last donation, and she decided to quit talking to me. And then afterwards, so it's like we used to talk about, you know, the targeting and stuff, and she used to tag me on Twitter. She quit tagging me on Twitter. It's like I don't exist to her no more, and she would ignore me. So I figured, well, you ignore me now, so... um. Well, I just block you and be like, well, you ain't got to worry about me no more. So, um, I don't want to be talking to a brick wall. But they have some people who did me stuff, like offensive stuff, and be narcissistic, controlling, and abusive. And then, you know, I cut them off. And then they'll try to make it like as if I did this and that to them for no reason. But... You know, me and you have had near arguments, or you actually told me stuff that's offensive. But there are people who I never offended, and they don't like me for no for whatever reason. 
And even in church, you go to church on a Sunday and they got people who give you looks or that like they don't like you for no reason. Well, what's the point of going there then? And if you're supposed to go there for salvation and your soul saved and they got a whole everybody in the church hates you and don't and treat you like you're not wanted or welcome. And and they would do the um it's like bullying in church or workplace mobbing but in a church setting. And even the fake pastor is a bully. So um, I need all the help I can get. And please look in the description box for um. Please look in the description box for ways you can help and support me. And also um, you can get help too for the information that I put in the description box. So I know it's early in the morning, and um. Well, I can't, I'm fidgety and can't go back to sleep. So, um, but I guess me doing this video, it kind of warmed me up, made me feel a little bit warmer. But I'm going to go for now and keep me in your prayers. I'm hoping I can get me a place real soon.